In times of war, families can be separated and people can go missing. The International Committee of the Red Cross's Central Tracing Agency has the unique role of preventing disappearances and maintaining family links. We have been doing this for more than 150 years. When the hostilities escalated between the Russian Federation and Ukraine in February 2022, we set up the Central Tracing Agency Bureau for the international conflict between the Russian Federation and Ukraine. Our aim is to prevent disappearances and alleviate the suffering of families who have been separated from their loved ones. It's the first time we've done this since the war in Iraq 20 years ago, and it's the first of this scale since World War II. We pick up the phone when family members call us uh, looking for their beloved ones. We are receiving calls on a daily basis and we don't know who will reach us and what will be the next call. The duration of call can be totally different, it depends on the situation and we never interrupt people and we never stop them, so it means that we want to make them feel to be heard and just uh, to share what they want to share. Every call that we receive, every email, every online phone, every visit, every letters, we register all those requests into our system to make sure that this is processed and that we keep a trace of all the calls that we receive. And just trying uh, always double checking um, very detailed in name, uh, last name and patronym and date of birth because uh, even like one discrepancy can lead uh, to the fact that we will inform the wrong person. A small mistake uh, can have a huge cost in terms of uh, people's life. Hello, good morning. It's Christina. I'm a caseworker. I work with the families of missing people and families of uh, prisoners of war. I contact them uh, via letters, calls, in case I have any information about, the fa about their loved ones, about uh, uh, prisoners of war. I call back the families, I update them. We fill all the details, uh, like very precisely the address you see here. We put like village, uh, rayon. Rayon is uh, like a district, oblast is a region and like the country. Uh, here, very detailed, we put details on scars, on tattoos, birthmarks, if any. So my work is working with the families and uh, trying to make uh, the files. As, f as full as possible, so nothing is uh, missing and nobody is ignored. We've just received a new list from uh, the authorities with a couple of uh, hundred names on it. Because this is an international armed conflict, both Ukraine and the Russian Federation have a legal obligation to share with us information about all enemy soldiers and civilians that have fallen into their hands, such as prisoners of war, uh, enemy soldiers that have been retrieved from the battlefield, and captured enemy civilians, so to speak. Whenever we receive lists of detained persons from the authorities, Ukrainian or Russians, we compare those lists with the lists of missing people we are aware about from their families. Whenever we find a correspondence between those lists, we call this a match. It means that we have an answer to the families of the missing. As a data analyst, I have a few main tasks. One of the main tasks is uh, name matching and other details to aid matching of identities. We get a list of names, other details, and we want to see if we have these people uh, in our database. So there's a new list uh, that just came in. I'm going to run it through our algorithm, which uh, will help us find uh, potential matches. Uh, precisely and efficiently. Um, 
Once I have a list of potential matches, my colleagues will go through it one by one and uh, make the final decision on whether it's a match or not. Acting as a neutral intermediary, our role is to share the information that we have received from one party with the other so that they can take stock of the fate of these individuals and inform their families accordingly. And in all this, the fact that we act as a neutral entity between the states is crucial to the fact that we are in fact at the center of this system of exchange of information. The dignified and proper documentation of the dead is crucial in order to uh, prevent them from becoming missing persons. It's extremely important for families to receive this information so that they can begin the process of grieving. In this conflict, families have been surrounded by so much information. So much that they can trust and they may sometimes not trust. And it's very precious for us to establish the relations with the family and to show and demonstrate that we are trustworthy sources of information. Hello. Hello. Hi. Do you have something for me? Oh, yes, you do. As long as the search for missing people goes on, we keep storing information about them and the circumstances of disappearance and any additional information about what happened to the missing people that could be useful one day for the search. All this information is stored in two main formats, a digital format in a database and also in a paper format in a safe manner. Every cabinet has its own label so we can keep a track where everything goes. Whatever is received and processed by a data team here at the CTA Bureau, we print it out and we keep it as a paper files so that we have it as a reference in any circumstances and also that is easily retractable and reachable for the case workers that would uh, work with individual cases. One of the biggest pains in the world is the pain of not knowing, not knowing for sure. Not knowing if your loved one is sick, not knowing if your loved one is alive. And this is absolutely excruciating. This is something that you cannot live with. This is something that you cannot move to the next day with. And families who are not knowing, they're living with this pain 24 hours, seven days per week. And this is something that we try to ease their pain with. And we can ease their pain with information.